And we are away. And it's a great... Carlin has got stop and go, I think. Gosling straight out with a stop and go for a jump start. Oh, my lord. So, now, that's really bad news for him because he was the main to transit. But this is his Duchette, a real chance to have a, a go at... Um, Oh, and Gosvig's now got a body tuck as well, so that's a bad, bad start for, for Gosvig. That's all gone horribly wrong. And Rathiski now is looking like he might well be uh, having a bit of a celebration of becoming European champion because he only needs to keep it on the island. And also, his, his ma now his major challenge, let's go back to second place, is the four of Tom Krukfelski. Rathiski away. Krukfelski's got past his shed. So unless Krukfelski's found some speed he's not had for the last two days, this is going to be a walk in the park for uh, Jan. Saying that, upside down goes our uh, our focus driver, and he's out of that one. So let's pick him up again with the swarm of cars going down the main straight. So at the end of this lap, Duchette's back in second, but the lead that uh, our erstwhile leader, Jan Rathensi, is going to have is four seconds. And he didn't need, he was able to hold off when he had 0.1 of a second. So four seconds, this is, this is now just going to be too easy for him. So it's now about who comes second. It looks like the spec champion is going to get decided in two legs. So look at that again. I think you can see the, the, the when Craig Felsey has completely lost it. Oh dear, that was that's what's called being a bit greedy on the curbs. I've taken too much curb and I may be upside down for a while. So second and third, it's, now, it's car seven actually, who's in third, which is Max Moucher. So, with three minutes to go, um, the drama that was leg one is not being repeated in leg two. Mark Bruton Young says it's pointless from Gosby handling uh, Jan the win. I think it's probably what he's done. I think you're right. So after all the controversy of the modified a phone, this is going to be what's coming in as a simple as. So actually, Max is making a bit of a race of it now. He's coming up with the back of Duchette for the battle for second. So go on, Max, make us make, make us interesting. The German, the white, the orange car behind the, uh, the Frenchman in the mainly uh, yellow machine. So they come through the switch back sweeper into the uh, LRP loop and then back into the X-ray R. So here we all go. Oh dear. There's a lot of Lexi on this particular race. You can probably hear it in the background as cars are rolling. Not cars of any particular import, and certainly not Jan Ratheski, who's who has he was defining an easy win. And he's about to take the European Championship. We will go back to him for his victory couple of laps. There is something going on. There's a chance here that Matcher might stick it up the inside of Duchette if we, if we ask really nicely. Come on, get up the inside. So it doesn't look like Max can get past, and we're down to the last 40 seconds. Let's find our leader. Jan, he's below you now. Just now, now that is Rathuski, number one. And he's got uh, two laps here. This lap and one more to become the spec European champion. Take over from Mike Gosby, who won the first two uh, in Spain and then in uh, Torres Novas. This is the third spec championship, 10 and a half. Not sure. It might change. It might be a different motor next year. I think there's rumours it may go to 13 and a half. Um, but this is the spec champion. This is Jan Wazelski. He's got a good chance of doubling up in the F1 as well. But as it stands, 
This is the victory lap for the German. And our first European champion of the day is about to be crowned. And it is going to be Jan Rathowski is going to pick up the European Championship crown. And you can't re-argue really that, can you? So a great win there for Jan.